Close the door. <laughs> stay, stay out. <laughs> I don't think they can use door handles, so it's we're pretty safe. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to Dying Light. In the last part we met Rise for the first time and he gave us a job. And he promised us some answers in. We did the job. But apparently that's not good enough and he wants us to do more for him. So we're going to speak to his guy, um, Raheem. No, Karim, his name is. Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? I guess I'll have to be. Alright, so we gotta go collect some protection money from um, the settlements around this this same um, city. But before we do collect the money, we need to go contact the GRE. Give them another heads up on what's going on. We're constantly updating the GRE, aren't we? On what's going on. So it looks like we need to get to a... Going somewhere else this time to contact them, a different a different vantage point. So it looks like we're making our way on top of this train. Let's get a good signal. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks, and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out. Alright, so let's get this money. But before we do, our weapon is about to die, because I've been doing quite a little bit of farming in between the last part and this part. So we're going to make another modified weapon. If we go to blueprints, we can make um, the Exorcist. Which is a better version of what we can already do, it's like bleeding and electricity. So I think we'll try that out. We can do it on quite a number of different weapons. Give it to the one that's got the most damage, I think. Military shovel, that's plus, plus 11. That's quite a lot. Plus 12. 17. Whoa. Garden sickle. I think we'll do it for the garden sickle, hey? Get the most damage that we can with this upgrade. Now I'm just going to make sure that it's equipped in our inventory. We can switch it out for the, the brick hammer. We're only going to be using the same weapon anyway, so it doesn't really matter which one we swap it out for. Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Talk you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. So we're going to make some collection money. Let's see if they'll cooperate. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off! I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay! Jesus! You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? <laughs> I play quite a good um, arsehole, don't I? <laughs> Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. So I'm guessing there's going to be some combat in this mission somewhere, like. Someone's not going to cooperate, they're going to send that all their, like, henchmen on me. Going to have a bit of trouble, I guess. Right. How you doing, mate? I'm... I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, he scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. Look, I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon. 
So we are getting a little bit short on time there. People are needing the answers as soon as possible. So hopefully when we complete this mission, Rise is not going to be a dick and he will give us what we ask for. I think we've got to make our way through the tunnel. Meet the courier at the tunnel entrance. Okay, so we're going inside the tunnel. I think we'll continue to use this weapon as well until it breaks and then we'll switch to the sickle. Here we go. Ah, get off me! Ah! Close the door. <laughs> stay, stay out. <laughs> I don't think they can use door handles, so it's, we're pretty safe. Okay, so this is a new area that we've not really explored before. Turn the flashlight on, it's a little bit dark. Actually, it's not that dark, is it? <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god, what was that? Kind of like a bloater. What the fuck was that? The cream, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infect that just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Alright. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gersel. Just get this lock open before we carry on. Might as well get some free goodies. Got a pouch and a short gator knife. Nice. Alright, so I think we're going to continue through the tunnels. So meet the, meet the second pickup at the fisherman's village. Can we make our way there through here? I don't think we can, so we need to go back out the way we came in. The tower speaking. Remember, if you cannot reach the tower in time, Get your ass to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good luck. Just got a little warning message there. I think that means that the night time is coming soon. So we've got to finish this mission quickly. Then find a bed to sleep in before it gets too dangerous. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. I don't know if I can take out that many by myself. Sure you can. Floater! Oh my god! Didn't, know, didn't even see him coming. So he kill, killed the rest of the zombies for me. He almost killed me as well. There's the one! Jump! Run away! Oh shit! Okay, this weapon's broken now. Um, let's get the sickle out. Whoa, electricity damage. Shit. <laughs> nice. So you can't really just like electrocute them. Maybe if they're in water as well, that'd be even better. Knocks them back pretty good as well. There's one behind me. Okay, hello. Running around. One shot. Nice. So I think you got one left. Um... Where is this one? It's on the map. Is it this one on the ground? Is it dead? Okay, so I just blew up that guy's canister and then the marker on the map disappeared. So it seems like we just gotta kill the ones that have come in now because of the noise and then we'll be okay. There's one more coming in. Should be outside the door. There he is. He might kill himself actually on the spikes. No, he's too small for that, isn't he? God, they hit me every time. So close the gate and clear the the village. I gotta get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. So this is now a safe zone. Gotta to search the huts for the leader. Just check all the doors. Hello? Anyone here? Just stay still. Maybe he'll go away. Anyone here? Rice sent me. I'm here for a pickup. So there's definitely someone inside here. 
Um, we can't kick the door because it says we're in a safe area. So I think there's quite a lot of people who are living here, but um, we obviously need to find the um, the leader. So let's have a little look around the um, the huts. Yes. Who, who goes there? I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh my God! That's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Just tell him to go away. Do it nice and maybe. He'll okay, he's obviously not the leader. I wish someone would just tell me which house. Yo, anyone in this house? Gazel, Gazel is the one you're looking for. Can you find Gazel? Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Firkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Firkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Firkin. Give me a break, Kyla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. I'm sure that woman's in the tower. I've seen her before, her face. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. So there's a settlement there? Head east and you'll find it. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Okay, before we carry on, we're gonna sleep here to wait till morning. Now it's a lot safer outside. So we're gonna go make our final pickup now at the ferry harbour. Looks like we've arrived. We gotta to speak to Morgan. Um, I guess that's gonna be Morgan in there. Is there a door to get in? Must be the other side. There we go. I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it going to take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it. Aren't you? I have my reasons. Uh, take his money. Okay, Kareem. I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. So that's it. We're done. Just gotta make our way back to the um, Rises headquarters now. A copy, what's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! So someone's turned. Just kill them, then. If they've turned, they can't come back, can they? So just... Give them a stab in the head or a shot. Whatever. I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Uh, why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. 
See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Well, here we go, the never-ending demands of Rise and Kareem. So we changed our route right now, we're going to be looking for one of the patrol groups. Hopefully they're already dead, <laughs> it's not my problem. It is funny how like you're working for the enemy right now. You know, it's like, this is obviously going to become like a, a fight between the tower and Ryze's men in the future, but at the moment we're doing a lot of things for these guys. Right, so this is the area where the guys are. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. We got a blueprint. It's the keys on the floor there. And the keys for the keys for the van. DIY grenade, nice. Holy shit! Huh? What? Huh? Oh shit, they're shooting me. Who are these people? These are, are these not risers, guys? Okay, there's a guy with a gun. Okay, we're making our way around the side of the building now. The guy is just behind that wall. I'm gonna see if we can get on top of this rock and throw the grenade in there. So we throw a grenade in there now. I think we got him. Alright guys, we killed him with a grenade and he killed us with a grenade. We made our way back and he's still dead and um, his body's disappeared. But it looks like he's left his gun behind. Police rifle. 237 damage, that's quite a lot when you compare it to melee weapons. So we're looking for the um, envelope and I think it's going to be in the orange circle on the map. So now that that guy's not shooting us, we can have a little look around. Let's see what we got. There's an envelope right there. Okay, I got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Alright, so we got the blueprints. I don't know what the blueprints are. Blueprints in this game normally mean crafting things. Hey, you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna! Do you see me? Uh -huh. I'm up here! I need your help! Who's shouting me? On the antenna? What, that one over there? I'm gonna just run towards the objective because I don't know where that guy shot me from. Ow. So, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. Yeah, was, I was thinking I could make my way through the building right there, but nope. Alright, so we're making it back to the base right now. We've done more than enough for Rise now. We've got all the collection money for here, and we've got the envelope that his guys failed to retrieve. So we should be more than happy with us. Let's make our way over the fence. Let's get in there. Oh, here he is. Alright, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. <laughs> so let's go speak to Rise. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you cannot do a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the Tower Lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Anderson. I think not. Your loyalty to the Tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Anthazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you 
this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. No, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Come and see me when you get back. I've got something for you. Ah, oh, shit. Bit of a stupid request right there, isn't it? We're trying to save the people and he wants us to give us one of our people to fight in the arena. Um, no thank you. So it looks like we may go against that decision, that option, and uh, go to war with Rise. That's probably what's going to happen. Just got to speak to GRE quickly. Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. Hmm. It's going to be interesting now to see if we do actually have a choice in this as a player. Alright guys, we'll make our way to the tower in the next part. Give the people the, the answers in that we've got, the very small amount. And see what's next. See what the plan is to go against Rise. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.